Why'd you ever have my sleep? I was freaking sleeping on the wall here. I have my blanket over my face and everything. And, well, hello. Um, it's this Monday again already? Well, um, yeah, here we are, Monday evening. <laughs> and, um, Monday Night Raw went off the air a little under an hour ago. And just as usual, Monday Night Raw keeps exceeding my expectations and gets better and better every week. And always makes me smile. But to go from the top of the show to the bottom of the show, we're going to start off with what the first thing that happened is Triple H came out and announced the fact that he will be the special guest show free at SummerSlam. Now, in my opinion, I don't think we needed a special guest referee at SummerSlam. I think it was fine enough for it to be just John Cena versus CM Punk, but I don't know why they added Triple H. me. And then, he announced that both John Cena and CM Punk will be in action tonight against separate opponents. And, um... Then John Cena... Uh, John Cena's match was next, and he called... And John Cena came out... And then we cut to commercial, and back on, Jack Swagger came out, and they had a match, fairly back and forth until John Cena hit the na na na, -na and the, 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 that thing, <laughs> and pin Jack Swagger, <clears throat> and, um, so that was a pretty good match, and then the next match was The Miz versus Rey Mysterio, and The Miz ended up picking up the victory in a very good back and forth match by hitting, except I didn't go down with it, he went down with it, I just let it go, the skull crushing finale, beating Rey Mysterio, in a very good match, and then, yeah, oh no wait, not Rey Mysterio, he ended up beating Kofi Kingston because he beat the crap out of Rey Mysterio before the match, and, yeah, so. After that was Eve versus Beth Phoenix. It was a typical boring Divas match. Ended with Beth Phoenix going... In. Yeah, she totally, like, took all of Eve's clothes off. Because this represents <laughs> Eve's clothes. Totally, they just fell off. <coughs> Obviously. But, um, and then Beth Phoenix was cutting a promo saying how uh, all the divas like Eve and Kelly Kelly, the uh, bimbos, pretty much, their time was up, and it was time for the more technically sound, stronger divas to take over. And Kelly Kelly ended up coming up from behind with the divas title going kunk. I forgot there's a I forgot there was a vent there. But um Yeah. And then she went in the ring and pretty much just stood there and was like, ah yeah. Next thing was um I think John Morrison versus R Truth. Don't remember who won that. That's the funny thing. I do not remember. Wasn't it John Morrison? I don't know. But regardless I don't even remember that match, so I'm not going to go over it. <coughs> um, after that was CM Punk versus uh, Alberto Del Rio. CM Punk obviously ended up picking up the win in the match with the good old... And pinned him for three, and then sat in the ring... And cut another promo, like he always does every week. And then we went on to the contract signing, I think was next. I can't remember anything else, so I'm just going to go on to that. Contract signing for John Cena versus CM Punk at SummerSlam. And um, they had a nice little back and forth going on and everything. And then... And then, um, they both signed the contract, and then they both had a nice little stare down. Punk kicked frickin', frickin' Johnny Ace in the back of the head. It was frickin' hilarious. And then, uh, Cena knocked Triple H down, and Punk rolled out of the ring. But, um...
I really enjoyed tonight's Raw. It was really awesome, and I, it was entertaining as fuck. Enjoyed the hell out of it and stuff. So, expect a SummerSlam predictions. I know I said I was going to do a Hardcore Justice predictions. I just never got around to it, but expect SummerSlam predictions. And, um... Yeah, so, that's all I got to say. So, um... Get the hell out of my room. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs>